So without further ado, I want to welcome back Brad Walker. If you weren't with us yesterday, I'm just going to give him a little introduction. He is a health and science graduate of the University of New England. He's a stretch coach and a stretching guru. And I have to tell you, after yesterday, I totally uh, want to be a stretching guru myself. He is a nationally ranked athlete. He's published in the Washington Post, New York Times, about.com, athletes.com, body, uh, bodybuilding.com. He's an author listed in five Amazon bestseller categories. He has had over 100,000 Google references. He's a course creator, a chief stretch advisor to the Stretch Lab Flexologist Training Program, and he's located in the beautiful Australia. So welcome back, Brad. Hello again, everyone. Hi, Hi how are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm great. How are you all doing? Wonderful. And I have to say your segment yesterday, the stretch of the day, I did it about 15 times. So I appreciate that. And I cannot wait to see what you have for us today. That's perfect. That's exactly the way you want to do your stretching. Don't worry about trying to find an extra 30 minutes in the day to do stretching. Fit it in wherever you can. Uh, if you're on the phone with someone, do a few stretches. If you're in between jobs, do a few stretches. That's the best way to do your stretching. I love that. I'm going to use that as my mantra. Just keep on stretching. All right. So I'm going to let you take it away and I will see you all soon. Excellent. So hello again, everyone, and welcome to the second day of the Wellness Await Summit. Uh, my name is Brad Walker and I am the stretch coach. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to get you warmed up, stretched out and ready for a great day of fun filled information and learning. Now, for those of you who missed my warm up yesterday, as I said, my name is Brad Walker and I'm often referred to as the stretch coach. I've been working in the health and fitness industry for over 30 years and most of that time has been dedicated to stretching and flexibility training. I've worked with some of the best athletes on the planet, some of the biggest fitness companies in the world. I've worked with 10 year olds, 90 year olds and everyone in between. Uh, I've written 12 books on stretching, flexibility and sports injury management. Those books are published in 15 different languages, used in colleges and universities around the world. And some of them have even been listed at the top of Amazon bestseller seller lists. Now, yesterday I spoke about the amazing benefits of stretching. But remember, stretching is just like any other type of exercise. Do it properly get the maximum benefits with the minimum amount of risk. Do it incorrectly, serious injury. So what are some of the mistakes people make when stretching? And what can you do to minimize the risk of injury and get the maximum benefits from your stretching? Well, the first mistake I see a lot of people making is trying to stretch an injury. Take it from me, if you have an injury, if you have aches and pains, if you've hurt yourself, you do not want to be stretching it. Stretching it could actually make it worse. So if you do have an injury, aches or pains or anything that you've recently hurt, avoid stretching any injury. Now, another mistake I see a lot of people making is stretching cold muscles. We want to make sure those muscles are warmed up and ready for stretching before we start stretching them. Stretching them cold can injure them. So make sure if you're going to do any stretching yourself, do a few little warm ups just to get the blood flowing, get the oxygen flowing and move into your stretching. Now, another really common mistake I see a lot of people making is stretching too hard or too intensely. Now, stretching is supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to be enjoyable. We don't want to be in pain while we're stretching. So the, the key with stretching is to move into the stretch until you feel a good, deep tension, but not pain. If you start to feel pain and you've pushed the stretch too far, you need to back out of it. So use pain as a warning sign. If you start to feel pain while you're stretching, back it off a little bit so you can feel nice, deep tension. Another mistake people make subconsciously sometimes is holding their breath. And this relates to the, to the last mistake. Stretching too hard, often find that you're holding 
breath. So make sure you breathe deeply while you're doing your stretching and relax as much as possible. If you catch yourself holding your breath, it might be a sign that you're pushing the stretch a little bit too hard. Now, another mistake I see a lot of people make is not holding the stretch long enough. A few seconds or even five or 10 seconds isn't enough time to let your body relax let the muscles relax and lengthen out. So we wanna hold our stretches for at least 15 to 20 seconds whenever we're doing our flexibility training. Now, another mistake I see people make is trying to stretch everything and thinking that you have to stretch every muscle group or that you have to do a full body stretch routine. A better approach is to figure out what muscles are tight in your body. Everyone has different tight spots. I may be tight in my lower back. You may be tight in your shoulders or upper back. Someone else may be tight in their legs. Try and figure out where you're most tight and work on that first. Another thing to look out for is imbalances between one side of the body and your other side of the body. If you notice that your left side of the body is more tight than your right side, then work on that left side more than you do the right side. The idea is, is to get some balance in your body. Balance is really, is really important. So look out for those tight spots and work on those first. Now, lastly, I just want to remind you that stretching is a long-term solution. It's not a quick fix. It's not a magic Doing a few stretches today is not going to make you super flexible tomorrow. Just like going to the gym today is not going to make you superman strong tomorrow. Stretching is a long-term solution. So make sure you dedicate time to your stretching over the long term. Don't expect to do a few stretches for a week and become super flexible. Stick to it like any other type of exercise that you do. <clears throat> Now that brings us to our stretching and warm up. So let's go ahead, get a little bit warmed up and then we'll get into the stretches for the day. So let's start off just by shaking those arms out. All we wanna do is start to get the blood flowing. Shake those arms out, get the blood flowing, get them moving. This wakes up our muscles, it wakes up our joints and it gets us ready for any stretching or exercise to follow. Now let's stretch out our legs, kick those legs out. I know you can't see my legs, but kick them out, give them a shake, get them waked up, woken up for the day. Okay, now we've got our arms and legs moving a little bit. Let's do some deep breathing. So just like yesterday, nice big deep breath in. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then let it all out. And push it all out, push all that air out of your lungs. We don't want any of that stale air that sits in the bottom of your lungs staying there. Push it all the way out. Two more times, everyone. Big breath in. Hold it for a second and then push it all out. Roll those shoulders around. One more time. Hold it for a second and push it all out. Good work, everyone. Now we're warmed up and ready to go. We've got, I've got a couple of great stretches for you uh, this, uh, today. The first one is going to be a side stretch, lower back and hips. So we're gonna start off with our feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna start off by putting one hand over the top of your head and gently reaching over to one side. This one, you're gonna get a stretch all the way down the side of your body here. Nice big deep breath in. And gently, as you release the air, just gently moving into that stretch. Now make sure you're not bending forward. We don't want any forward bending. Keep yourself nice and upright over to one side. Good work. We're gonna come out of that stretch slowly. Give those shoulders a bit of a shake and we're gonna move over to the other side. Good work, everyone. Just hold it there for a few seconds. Let your body relax. Remember if it hurts or if it's painful, 
you're trying to stretch too hard. Big breath in, hold it for a second, and then let it all out. Good, and slowly coming up. Shake those arms out. Give yourself a few rotations to each side. It's really gonna wake up your spine, your lower back, that lumbar region of your lower back and hips. Good work, everyone. Now for the next two stretches, I'm gonna point my camera down to the ground so you can see my legs, because we're gonna do a couple of leg stretches, our hips and legs woken up for the day. So just give me a second while I point the camera down so you can see the stretch that we're gonna be doing. Now, this stretch is gonna be a hamstring stretch. So hop up off the chair sitting on if you're not already hopped up, and we're gonna use that chair as part of our stretch. If you've got something to hang on to, feel free to do that. All we're gonna do is raise one leg up and put it onto the chair. Now, the important thing to keep in mind here is to keep our foot straight up and down. We don't want our foot to fall out to the side. So make sure your foot's straight up and down. And in this position here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our back, and our posture nice and straight, and we're just gonna pivot forward at the hips until we feel some tension in the back of our legs here. Now, don't worry about touching your toes. It's not about touching your toes. It doesn't matter how far you can reach, everyone's different. Don't worry about touching your toes. In this position here, just gonna hold it while we feel that nice tension in the back of our legs here. And while we're in this position, let's take a nice big deep breath in, hold it for a second. And as we let the breath out, just gently lean into the stretch a little bit more. But remember, no pain. If you're feeling any pain here, just back off, back off a little. Good work. Let's move over to the other leg, coming out of the stretch. Always come out of the stretch nice and slowly. Other leg up onto the chair. Remember, straight up and down. Don't let them fall out to the side. Same again, nice straight posture. And we're just pivoting forward at the hips. To the point where you feel that nice tension in the back of your legs there. Again, remember, don't worry about touching your toes. It's not about how far you can reach. Nice big deep breath in, hold it for a second. And as you gently breathe out, gently lowering yourself into that stretch. Good work, let's come out of that nice and slowly. Give those legs a bit of a shake out. Now I've got one more stretch for you for the lower body. And this one is a great stretch for anyone who spends a lot of time sitting or a lot of time driving a car in that seated position. So this is our stretch of the day. This is the one I want you to do regularly throughout the day whenever you get a minute. So holding on to something for balance if you need to, we're gonna raise one leg up behind us and simply hold on to our foot here. Now the key with this one, the big mistake a lot of people make with this one is they bend the hip forward like this. Um, what we want to do is we want to push the hip forward so we're getting a good stretch right from the top of our hips right down to our, our, our knee here. So once we're in this position, we can push our hips forward so we're getting a good stretch. Now we can lift that knee or lift that foot up behind us. Pulling that foot upwards until you feel good tension throughout the front of your upper leg here. Okay, nice big deep breath. Hold it for a second or two. And as you breathe out, gently pulling that foot up behind you. Remember, don't be tempted to bend that hip forward. Keep that hip pushed right out in front. Good work, everyone. Slowly coming out of that one. Give that leg a bit of a shake. We're going to move over to the other side. Hold on to something for balance if you need to. Bring that foot up behind you. Remember, push that hip out in front first, get it right out in front, and then start pulling that foot up behind you. Nice big deep breath in. Hold it for a second. And as you breathe out, just gently pulling that foot up a little bit further behind you. 
Okay, good work, everyone. Now, remember that stretch of the day. Make sure you're doing that regularly throughout the day. If you do have any lower back pain, that's a great stretch for opening up that hip and taking some pressure off that lower back. So that's a really good stretch for anyone with lower back pain. Now, if you do want more stretches or more tips and tricks for how to stretch properly, all the stretching information you need at stretchcoach.com. So photos, I've got videos, I've got free information there. Head on over to stretchcoach.com and you'll get all the stretching information you need. Now, thank you very much for tuning in. You're in for a fun-filled, packed day of learning and information. So enjoy the day. Take care and bye for now.